This week, I'm going to lead you through a yin style morning yoga practice. We're going to start from lying down, gently wake up the spine and slowly get up, get ready for the day ahead. Let's get started. For this week's practice, you only need either a block or a bolster. So one prop should be enough for this week's practice. And we're going to start from lying down. Now you could do this practice even in your bed if you want to, anywhere where you find it comfortable to do your morning practice. And like I said, we're gonna start from lying down. So take a moment to find an easy, comfortable pose, or maybe you're in your bed, maybe you didn't get up yet. You can stay there and start your practice on your bed as well. Bring hands somewhere on your body, maybe one hand on the belly, other hand on the ribs. And take a few slightly deeper and bigger breaths in and out. Letting yourself feel the movements of each breath. Maybe each breath making those movements a bit bigger, so even slightly exaggerating your breaths. Just a few breaths and then let your breathing come back to its normal, natural depth and rate. And start to move your fingers and toes. Bring some gentle movement to your hands, to your feet. You could circle the wrists, circle the ankles a few times. If you have your legs bent, extend your legs and then bring your arms overhead as well. And just gently, gently reach your hands and feet away from each other. And from here, we're going to go into our first banana pose. So keep arms overhead, keep your legs long and slowly start to slide your feet, your legs towards the left side of the mat, keeping both buttocks, the pelvis down close to the mat. And then take hold of your right wrist with your left hand and just gently, gently pull Slide your arms, your shoulders towards the left side of the mat as well. So you find yourself in a side bend. Now you could cross your ankles one way or the other. Or if you want, you could open your left hip into a half butterfly shape. See what would feel good in your hips, in your lower back. You don't need to keep holding that right wrist if it's more comfortable to release the hold, even bring left arm down close to the side, you can do that. Then bring your awareness back to your breath. And now send a few breaths down and up along the right side body. As if you're inhaling down towards the right hip. Exhaling up towards the right shoulder. And as we stay here for another five to ten breaths, if you feel like you want to slide yourself a bit further into that side bend, you might adjust the pose, you might also adjust your legs. Maybe you want to change the shape in the legs. And keep breathing down towards the hips, up towards the shoulders. Allow your in-breaths to create space. Open up space from the inside. Let the exhalations release you, maybe just a bit further into the pose or just opening up some knots on the inside. What do you feel that you need now in the morning? 
and then slowly with your next few breaths start to release that side bend bring yourself back to center bringing legs bringing arms back to center and then bring knees to your chest to your belly and hug your knees and you could even bring your head towards the knees so you're really curling in rounding your spine you could also reach hands to your feet take a couple of breaths in and out and slowly start to release your head down now keep your right knee bent extend your left leg down onto the mat and bring your left hand to rest on your right knee and you could open your right arm out to the side. With the help of your left hand, start to circle your right knee. So the left hand is guiding your right knee, allowing the movement to come from your right hip. Just small gentle circles. Gently waking up that right hip before we go into a twist. You could change the direction of those circles. Keep breathing in and out. Keep breathing along that circle. Notice when you breathe in, when you breathe out. And then Slowly with your left hand, start to guide your right knee, your right leg towards the left side of the mat, leaving your chest open so you find yourself in a twist. Now, if you want, you could bring a block or a bolster under that right knee, under the right thigh. You can also choose to extend your right leg further out to the left side of the mat. Now you don't have to get the knee to the bed or to the ground. It might be that your right shoulder comes slightly off the mat. But there's a big twist going on in your body. You can visualize that twisting starting from your right hand, going through the right arm, into the right shoulder through the spine, spiraling down towards the hips, into the legs. Left hand could support the right leg, or you might just release your left hand, your left arm onto the floor or onto your bed. Notice if you need to turn head to one side or the other to release the neck. Focus on your breaths. Allow your breaths to flow again in, down towards the hips. As you breathe out, let the breath flow up towards the shoulder, that right shoulder up towards the neck. So although it's a yin pose, let the breath be quite energizing. Let yourself feel the flow of your breaths. Just gently waking up the body from the inside. Give yourself another five to 10 breaths in this twist. Softening the shoulders, you feel there's extra tension in the shoulders. Just feeling that internal movement, internal flow. Let the breath spiral along the spine. And then slowly, when you feel ready to release the twist, if you have your right leg extended, bend the right knee. And then help with your left hand to bring the right knee back towards the chest, towards the belly. 
And then we're going to bring the right foot on the mat and bend the left knee. So now both knees bent, both feet on the mat. And we're going to move into a bridge pose. We're gonna try a couple of moving bridges and then we're gonna settle into a longer supported bridge. So have your feet roughly hip width apart. We're going to bring arms down next to the sides. As you exhale, press the feet down and lift your pelvis, lift your back off the mat. Just see how the bridge feels around the hips in the spine. With your next exhalation, release your back, your pelvis down. Inhale down on the mat. And then as you exhale, do same again with your own breath. Exhaling, feet pressing down, lifting the pelvis, lifting the back off the mat. You can see how high up you want to go. And exhale, release down. So now you know a little bit what the bridge is going to feel like. We're going to go into a supported bridge. So reach for your block or bolster. And then once more, Exhale, press the feet down, lift your pelvis off the mat. And now bring your block or bolster under the pelvis. And then lean your pelvis onto that support. And you decide if you want to keep your knees bent as they are. Or if you would like to open legs into a butterfly shape. You might gently rock from side to side a few times. You might even extend your legs so that you slide your heels, your feet along the mat, extending the legs. Choose any of these options that feel or feel safe for you and feels good now in the morning. If you want, you could bring arms overhead if that feels good in the shoulders. You can also leave your hands, your arms down closer to your body or even bring hands onto your belly, onto your hips. And then bring your attention back to your breath. Here we are slightly inhaling towards uphill, so inhaling uphill towards the belly, towards the pelvis. The exhalation slide downhill towards the shoulders, towards the neck. Notice your upper back, that space between the shoulder blades. Is there a tension that you don't need right now. Maybe there's some tension that has built up during the night. Maybe there's tension in the neck. Sometimes we sleep in funny shapes, funny positions. They might build tension around the shoulders and the neck. You might even rock your head from side to side if that feels better, trying to Release that excess tension. Okay, we'll take another five to 10 breaths. If you need to adjust your legs, you might change the shape in the legs. Still keeping the breath rather active. So while the body is resting in the poses, in the shapes, we are also waking up still energizing with the breath from the inside. Towards the end of your five to 10 breaths or when you feel you'd be ready to slowly come down, release, this bridge. Bring your feet, the soles of the feet back onto the mat or if you're on your bed, back to pressing against the bed so that you could now elevate your pelvis off that block or 
bolster and then pull the prop aside, release your back, your pelvis down. And again, you could hug the knees in, maybe rock from side to side a couple of times. And then we're going to go into the twist and banana, but now in a reverse order. So from hugging the knees, now keep hugging your left knee in, extend your right leg all the way down. You can bring your left arm on the floor, on the bed next to you, and then leave right hand on the left knee and start to circle the left knee, the circle, circle the left hip joint. And it could be a bigger, it could be a smaller movement, what feels good on this side. And again, let yourself breathe along that circle. And releasing the hip before we do the full twist. You can change the direction. Keep shoulders soft. And let's do a couple more circles. And then from those circles, start to guide your left leg out to the right side of the mat. Let your whole pelvis roll, kind of rock towards the right side again. You could bring a block or a bolster under that left leg. Leave your chest open, leave that left shoulder open if you want. You might extend the left leg further out to the right side. And again, this side might need to be different. Maybe you need to find a slightly different shape in the legs, in the arms. Maybe the leg is extended, maybe it's bent. What feels better and safer on this side? And then breathing down and up along the spine. It's very possible that the back feels stiff in the morning, so don't push, don't pull too far. We are gently waking up the spine, gently releasing tension along and around the spine. And again, head might turn to one side or the other. Notice if there's tension around your jaw that you could release. Keep the breath a bit more active. You might even find a gentle ujjayi breath if that's a part of your regular practice. You might try a few ujjayi breaths. Take another five to ten breaths in this twist. Remember, you're not stuck in the pose. You might adjust. You might even need to add some small movement if you start to feel you are getting stuck in the pose. then slowly, either after your five to 10 breaths or when you feel ready to release that twist, start to bend the left leg. If you had the left leg extended, roll back onto your back and then extend your both legs. We're going to go into the banana pose on the other side. So 
could lengthen arms overhead. Maybe you want to give your whole body a gentle stretch from hands to your feet. And then you could hold your left wrist with the right hand and start to slide your feet, your legs towards the right side of the mat. And then gently, gently slide or even pull your arms, your shoulders towards the right side of the mat. Again, leaving both buttocks down. Maybe crossing ankles one way or the other. Or possibly opening the right hip, the right leg into a half butterfly. Where can you find that side bend? That opening along the left side body without hurting in the back, without hurting in the hips. And it could be that the shape is very different on this side. That's okay. Again, you might release arms to a different shape as well. But just allowing yourself to settle into that side bend. Sliding your breaths down and up along the left side body. Let your jaw soften, let your neck, your shoulders soften. in-breaths to open up space from the inside and out-breaths to release tension. Not to go back into our sleepy mode, but just softening tension that you're not going to need today. And sometimes that tension is, is between the ears, in our thoughts, in our feelings, So also letting go of unhelpful thoughts, emotions that you don't need in this moment. Take another few breaths in and out. Inhaling down towards the left hip, exhaling up towards the left shoulder. And then when you feel ready to let go of this pose, just slowly, slowly bring yourself back to center. You could release your arms down. And then one more time, bring your knees to your chest. And this time, open your legs into a butterfly shape, bringing soles of the feet together. And you could bring hands around the feet or around the ankles. And either stay here or gently start to push your feet away from the chest, lifting head off the mat. And then using your feet, your legs, to gently push away from the shoulders, away from the head. And at the same time, leaning your upper back, your neck away from the feet. Breathing to that space between the shoulder blades. At any point, you can bring your head, your shoulders back onto the mat if that feels better. We'll just spend another five-ish breaths here. Keeping tops of the shoulders soft. And then slowly bring your shoulders, bring your head down. You can let your hips close. 
bring feet onto the mat and just a few times swing your knees from side to side. And then from those swings, lean onto one side. It could be your left or your right side. And bring yourself into a very brief seat. At this point, we're going to need our prop, our block or bolster. We'll bring it behind the back. And then we're going to lean our back onto that support into a supported back bend, opening the chest. So if you have a block, maybe bring it somewhere just below your shoulder blades. If you have a bolster, you could try bringing it sideways under your back. Looking for some opening across the chest. Head can lean either on the mat or if you prefer, you can also have the bolster under the back and under the head. And then if that feels okay, bring arms over head along the mat, on the floor. Legs can stay bent or you might extend your legs or Go for another butterfly shape if that feels good. You can also bring arms out to the sides if that's a better option for you here. Looking for a back bend, opening across the chest. And we'll take just five to ten breaths here. Send those breaths towards the ribs, towards the ribs in the front of the body, towards the ribs out on the sides, towards the ribs on the back side of the body as well. Shoulders dropping down. Take another breath or two in and out. And then if you have your legs extended or in a butterfly, bring your feet back on the mat and lean onto one side. So again, Rather than jumping up into a seat, into a seat, lean onto one side and from your side bring yourself up into a seat. This could be a cross-legged seat or you might be sitting on your knees. Where do you feel you can find an easy seat where you can leave your hips, your back, your shoulders soft? Take a few breaths in and out. Let those few breaths slide again down and up along the spine. And then with your next in breath, float your arms up towards the ceiling, gently reaching up. Bring palms together and exhale, bring hands down in front of your chest. And we'll repeat this another few times. Inhale, open arms sideways up towards the ceiling and gently reaching up. Bring palms together and exhale, bring hands together in front of your chest. Two more times. Inhale, active, reach up. You might even look up, lengthening your spine up. And exhale, palms together, bring hands in front of the chest. One more time. Full breath in, reaching up. Lengthening your back up, maybe looking up. And exhale, bring palms together in front of the chest. Pause here to breathe. 
Take a nod to your head down. And as always, as we arrive at the end of the practice, most importantly, thank yourself. Thank yourself for this gentle start for the day, for moving your body, checking in with your breath. And I thank you very much for joining in, for sharing this morning practice. I hope you feel ready for the day ahead. Namaste. Thank you.